I guess today we're gonna travel in time. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's go to my inspiration. You see, this was my inspiration, the Loki season two. Okay, as you can see, I love the transition between the variant of this Loki actor here. And as you can see, these guys in the FX department did a great job. And thank you for the inspiration, of course. I thought how we can achieve this one in simple way. First, I analyzed that and I thought to myself, maybe I can use this vellum in Houdini for the gummy effect here, as you can see. And of course, then uh, I will render that in Arnold and I will track that, of course, in Keen Tools. I need a body tracker, of course, and a lot of stuff. You see, this was uh, crazy. Suddenly, I said to myself, this effect will take a couple of frames. Why we do all that? for couple of frame. It has to be an uh, alternative for this one. I come up with this uh, method. I did all that in just in New York. Before we begin, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and share it with your friend. Of course, this footage and the project file will be available on my Patreon. Okay, let's jump in. okay let's begin first we have this footage as you can see by this young man cool young man and we're gonna use that you see we have some issue with the leg of course and let's begin first let's have a roto uh, around this green screen okay of course and let's have a roto for this leg you see that it's not in the green screen range here that's a problem we need a rotoscoping for that okay this is a uh, frustrating of course it took a lot for the rotoscoping but for the sake of this video we're gonna uh, do that in simple way and yeah for instance this road here we're gonna fix that okay let's fast forward of course and um, boom we have this rough rotoscoping is not perfect but for the sake of this video it's okay and now let's have a famous key light for the green screen of course and let's select that and as you can see it's uh, putting all this scene here okay we need to tell him we have the existing alpha with this out input and of course now we have it and let's tweak that to have a decent alpha here okay it's not bad and yeah it's okay now let's merge that with the clean plate here i have this one of course let's have a frame hold that's awesome and boom yeah it's not bad we're gonna use that of course of course all this is available on my patreon the forage and the scene file okay so far so good i guess and we have that now let's have this actor showing up on the scene with this pose of course i'm gonna use this pose first let me organize that okay and let's have a transfer node with the t on the keyboard cool and let's adjust this pivot on this actor here cool and of course we're gonna use this scale you see that okay let's put it to one and yeah we're gonna use this pose here that's cool let's set keyframe and let's go here and make it smaller here cool and let's play okay that's nice see that love it with that movement of course we need a roto with the 
this part of the body okay you see and let's change that here okay i wanna uh, i wanna have this transition begin with uh, the leg and continue with the rest of the body you see that okay you can be creative with that it's up to you of course and let's have z on the point to make it smoother and with the feather of course let me show you here you see that that's better okay let's carry on okay now we need a variant of course i could do with the copy and pasting this different uh, version but i have this offload handy note let me show you here okay yeah maybe let's begin with that and of course let's go to the setting and in the this one let's make it frame and let's let's have this shuffle you see we need for instance three variant or the frame of course we can adjust it and you see that that's so handy <laughs> that's so awesome okay it's helped me a lot of course the alpha is weak let's uh, uh, make it stronger first let's promote that and see what we have here and of course merge let's merge it with the the variant of course and yeah it's weak and let's have a grade make the alpha stronger you see that nice and of course we have we need that you see love it okay we need another grade for the grading to the, the actor you see that lovely and of course we need to do this roto for the lower part of the body of the variant of course we, we don't need that gene see that we're gonna fix that later on with the awesome technique and maybe some feather okay we have that of course I, w I don't want to show up in the first frame you see that we have it in the first frame we're gonna replace that roto here that's roto we did animation with it you see that okay that's cool and of course we need to do this animation for this variant too of course you see that okay now we have this gene problem here we're gonna fix that okay let me show you I want to use this technique with the key light of course we don't have any green screen but of course we have blue screen as a gene here you see that let me show you this will work obviously let's yeah, select that and you see that we have the genes and of course let's make this alpha here and you see that <laughs> we don't have any more of these uh, genes for the variant and let's connect that and let's see what we get you see that that's without and that's with the key light okay now we need a glitch you see that that's so smooth but the glitch will be better here and for example i want the glitch begin in this frame of course after the actor is showing up okay for that we we have this handy time wrap node here okay and we're gonna use that you see we're gonna mess mess up with this input frame in various frame in the timeline and of course if you have uh, this kind of side effect put that to none the filter to none and of course you see that i i randomly selecting this uh, input keyframe in different frame 
and of course in the key in the curve editor I put that to horizontal then to pollution and yeah you see that's awesome this is a glitch I guess you see yeah that's what I wanted of course you can be creative with that and yeah you see that the main actor have a glitch and we're gonna add the glitch for the variant 2 but now let's have a switch I want the glitch in the specific range not the whole range of course I will switch between uh, the original one and the glitched version you see let me show you here okay as you can see our actor have a glitch of course and I want to animate the switch node here okay uh, after the glitch okay for example in this one will be the glitch version and after that we're gonna uh, go back to the original one okay you get the idea I want to switch between these two versions see that glitch and we are back see that okay this is calculating of course and glitch and back okay now the fun part here the connection between the variant version and the main actor of course we're gonna use paint node for that okay not roto node p on keyboard p node sorry paint node and of course let's go to the specific frame here okay i want to begin with this one and let's uh, select smear uh, tools of course and let's paint that and this part of the process it will take a lot of course and be creative with that and this is so important you see that and have a patient of course and do the cool stuff with it for the sake of this video of course let's fast forward and boom as you can see I did a few of this painting with the smart tools and that's not bad but in your project have a more this effect here okay now let's have a space warp here you see and for that of course I want to use uh, this grid sorry grid warp here where are you yeah and of course let's adjust this grid quickly you see that I did that with the beginning of the actor and of course in the rendering put this filter pixel to sync it will make it sharper and we have this morph output you see that we're gonna of course animate that by hand and let's begin okay this is as you can see the result and it's awesome okay with the final effect here we're gonna match this grading with this scene of the Loki of course for that we have this awesome node called match grade of course you see we have this source graded the target and our source and of course because this is a single image we need to fr frame hold our clip here to match it with the target and of course let's check that for the difference and we're gonna use that uh, frame and we have this error of course if you had that just go to the first frame and put that here and boom analyze that and we have this nasty <laughs> color graded okay we're gonna fix that with 
saturation for example and this resolution and okay not bad and yeah we're gonna change that no okay maybe that okay this is better and of course the dark area is so dark and let's fix that let's go here to the power of course and yeah we have that that's awesome and let's export this uh, transform node okay and you see we have this grade here and of course let's have a grade node to put the gamma back and that's not bad you see that i love it and yeah this is new York. of course all this scene is available on my patreon with the footage and with that this is the final result as you can see and as you can see i love it and see you in the next one goodbye